Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jessie here. So before we get started into making this lip gloss, I'm actually going to be reviewing a package that was sent to me <laughs> mad long ago. Like honestly, this review is long overrated, but um, this company sent me a box of their pre-made, well they weren't pre-made, their Versagel um, with no, uh, no oils added into it. So that's what we're going to be using to make our lip glosses today. Now I'm just opening up the package and I'm obsessed with the way they packaged this. They made it kind of look like a biohazard type thing. Like you could tell by the stickers on the side of the box and the packaging that they used to store in the the lip gloss, the base pouches. I just love the fact that it has like the biohazard theme with it. So it's really different. So she sent over three, um, it doesn't say how many ounces these are, but she sent three of those pouches and we're going to be using one of them today to make the lip gloss that we are going to be making. I will leave all of her information down in the description below so you guys could check it out and support, you know, I got to support our small businesses out there. But overall, after using this, um, lip gloss base, I love it. It's, it's like it's the same as like the same base you would get from tkb trading or some other place um but overall i really like it i didn't have no issue while making lip gloss with it so yeah so we're gonna just get started into the video guys so before we get into this video if you are new to our channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe as well as turn on that post notification bell on to be notified whenever we post a video and if you've been here for a while welcome back it's been a while <laughs> um anyways we're just gonna make this a beautiful perfect lip gloss so first we're gonna start with this shade called dnc red 33 olive lake from tkb trading and we're just gonna add a little bit of that on to into our bowl and then we're gonna use this second set i'm sorry the car is like driving anyways i'm gonna use this second uh pigment which is called deep rusted also from chikabi trading everything that we use in this video i'm gonna leave it down in the description below so you guys could check it out so using a spoon i'm taking half of that spoon and putting it inside of the bowl and you guys know we can't forget the our trusty liquid lipstick base from beauty tings so we're gonna add one scoop of that to mix everything together we are gonna be using oil it'll just make everything so much easier so in that red cup i had melted my coconut oil so i'm just gonna add a little bit of that just so it'll help when it comes to mixing everything together because don't forget the liquid lipstick base is more of a vaseline type of consistency so we're just gonna mix everything together after we're done mixing everything together i'm gonna take my castor oil this castor oil i got it off of amazon i'll leave the link down in the description below so we're just gonna eyeball this and pour it in there and just go about it you guys know sometimes i measure sometimes i don't and the fact that i'm making i'm creating a new gloss i did not measure it so we're just gonna go with it <laughs> so we're just gonna give that a quick mix and we're also gonna use some of the rest of our oils before adding our next oil this is how it looks the sheet is so pretty so now we're gonna go in with our coconut oil again and we're gonna add two spoons two full spoons worth of that coconut oil and we're just gonna mix everything together and you guys know how i feel about my little hand mixer so we're gonna grab our hand mixer to mix mix everything together because we are trying to get rid of the chunks from the liquid lipstick base so we just want everything to be smooth after mixing everything together we're gonna go back in with our oils and we're adding three spoons worth of coconut oil and then i'm grabbing my grapeseed oil and we're just gonna eyeball it we're just gonna add a little bit in there so we're just gonna add a little bit of that grapeseed oil next we're gonna go with our vitamin e oil you guys if you watched my video before our jason vitamin e oil does contain different types of oil in there so we're just gonna add a couple drops in that and then our preservative cap too we're gonna add about two to three drops of that as well and we're just gonna mix everything together so if you're using an oil-based product i recommend a preservative cap too and if you're using a water-based product i recommend the preser pre preservative cap 5 from tkb trading i'll leave the link to all of those below 
So this is how it looks when all of the oils and the pigments are all mixed in together. And now we're going to switch bowls and we're going to get a clean bowl so we can add our lip gloss base. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be using uh, the base that was sent to me. So we're going to use the entire pouch and make sure to get everything out i mean everything pour everything out use a scraper scrape the rest of it and just pour it out you could i i promise if you have some leftovers it will probably make a gloss or something so now i'm gonna add my tkb white li uh, liquid pigment and we're just gonna add it in there have a good amount so we could turn the clear base into a white base once we add that in we're just gonna mix everything together and so you're gonna see how it looks once everything is all mixed in before we add our oil pigment mixture that we did earlier so this is how it looks like we're just gonna keep mixing it for a little bit while to get all of the pigment incorporated with the base once everything is mixed in with each other that's when we're gonna pour in our mixture so here's a quick little oil uh, pouring action right here here's a close-up this is just a stunning gloss but the color will change because of the white base that we add, we added the white pigment so if you don't want the color to change from this i suggest not adding the um the white pigment in there if you want the color to stay exactly like it is do not add the white pigment but I didn't, so <laughs> I mixed everything together, and it's going to take a while for everything to mix in together. And I suggest you mix it slowly and not fast, because when you, when, when you mix it fast, it tends to create air bubbles. So take your time and mix it slowly until everything is incorporated to prevent it from having any air bubbles. So a quick little heads up, we are actually mixing it very slowly. We just uh, sped up the process and it looked like we're mixing it very fast when we're actually not. So as you mix, the consistency will change from it being clumpy and runny to very smooth to smooth and i wish a camera was doing this gloss justice this gloss is stunning in person especially when we add the pigment that we're going to add next so next we're going to add our unicorn horn pigment so with that pigment we're adding two scoops worth of that pigment in there and then we're going to mix it wait, wait wait for it wait for it look how stunning that looks and it's going to give you kind of like this pinkish purple galaxy reflect. Depends on how you look at it. But it just looks stunning in the end. So we're just going to mix it. Remember, mix it slowly. Do not create any air bubbles because it'll just look terrible when you put it in your tube, lip gloss tube, to be honest. But here's a close up of how it looks like. Um, the shades is very pretty. It is gorgeous. I love the fact that we added the unicorn horn pigment because... I mean, look at it. It speaks for itself. Just wow. Oh, so we actually do not have a name for this lip gloss. So please comment down below what you think we should name this gloss. But here's a close up of how like the mixing process of how it looks when the camera is actually doing it justice. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as well as turn that post notification bell on to be notified whenever we post a video and I will see you guys on our next. So, bye.